Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. Today I'm gonna to show you how to restore headlights using a 3M headlight restoration kit. Now I went to my local hardware store and picked this up for about 15 bucks, and it's a simple attachment that attaches to your household drill. So in this kit, let's see what we'll find inside of here. So in here we're gonna have the drill attachment, a foam interface pad, you're gonna have some sandpaper, what is it, that looks like it's 3000 grit, you're gonna have some more finer sandpaper, 800 grit, another 800 grit, and some other more aggressive ones depending on how bad your headlights are. After that, you're gonna have a foam finishing pad. You're gonna have some polishes and compounds. And finally, you're gonna have some tape and instructions to get you by just in case if you don't have this video to help you out. You're going to need a drill for all of this to work. So put the attachment on the end of the drill so we can begin to restore the clarity in the headlights. You're then going to need to tape the outline of the headlights so you don't ruin it. Moving down, you're going to need the 400 grit sandpaper to remove any heavy oxidation, then follow it up with the 800 grit sandpaper, and then finally the 3000 grit sandpaper. Once that stage is complete, you're then going to polish the headlights with the pad and rubbing compound, and then once that's done, you're going to then seal the headlight with a layer of sealant. Start off by wiping down the headlights and the area surrounding it, so the tape will be able to stick to the paint properly. If you take a look at my hood, you'll notice that it's contouring the headlights. Now to make masking the headlights easier, you can simply pop open the hood and you won't have to worry about damaging the paint on the hood at all. After that, mask up all the paint surrounding the headlight. The point of polishing the headlights is to remove a thin layer of the oxidized plastic from the lens, so you have a clear set of headlights afterwards. If you don't mask up the area surrounding the paint, you'll be removing a thin layer of paint on the bumpers and fenders, just like here in this car. This is a perfect example of what will happen to your bumper if you don't mask it. This is why prepping and masking the car is so important. After that, grab your drill with the attachment on the end of it. Now if your headlights are as bad as mine, start off with the included 400 grit sandpaper to remove the heavy oxidation. Spray some water on the headlight and on the pad and get sanding. It's best to go in overlapping passes so you sand down the headlight as uniformly as possible. This way, you'll get the entire headlight sanded down at the same rate, and it'll look very consistent. So go from left to right, and then right to left. Once you've scaled over the entire lens, switch it up and then go from top to bottom, and then bottom to top. Keep repeating this until the scratches on the headlight and the haze looks consistent throughout. Wipe it down with a towel to remove any residue and inspect the headlight from there. We then need to use the next sandpaper on our headlights. We're moving up to the 800 grit and we're essentially going to be doing the exact same thing as before. So the 800 grit sandpaper is going to make the headlights look a lot better by removing the 400 grit sandpaper marks in the headlight. When going from the 400 to the 800, our final results are going to be a lot smoother and more of the oxidation is going to be removed. Keep doing the same overlapping passes as before and continue sanding until the headlight has a consistent hazy opacity to it. Switch now to the 300 grit sandpaper where we're going to make the headlight pretty damn close to clear. The 3000 grit will be removing all the 800 grit sandpaper marks in the headlight and achieving near perfect opacity. Most people will think that after this step that it's good enough. Now on its own, this is a lot better than how it was, however we can polish the headlights after this step to make them look even better. So clean off the headlights and wipe off any remaining residue to reveal our results with our sandpaper. This was the last step of using water and sandpaper together to remove the oxidation on the headlights. It's now time to remove those little scratches that the 3000 grit sandpaper left behind. We need to use the polishing pad and the included rubbing compound to make it look brand new. Open up the rubbing compound and apply it first to the pad. Rub it into all the pores to make sure that the pad will polish properly once we put it on the headlight. Then add a little bit more polish to the headlight. Spread it out on the headlight and then proceed to polish the lens just like how we were sanding it before. Even overlapping passes will restore the lens's true clarity. Grab a microfiber towel to buff off any leftover polish to reveal a perfectly clean headlight. Now something that I noticed after polishing the headlight is that there's a bit of dirt that's on the inside of the lens. You can see how the bulb on the left isn't put in straight which means that there was a little crack that dust and dirt entered into the housing. Because of that, you can see how the lens on the inside is a little bit dirty and there's a little bit of buildup on the bottom. On the other hand though, the light output is going to be much better with these clean lights. Now the last step is to apply the protectant onto the headlight. It's essential to use a sealant wax that will prevent the headlight from turning yellow and fading in the sun. 
Shake it up to mix all the oils and waxes together, and then apply some on an applicator pad or a microfiber towel. Apply it on the lens in circular motions to really get the sealant into the pores of the lens. Once the coating is completely covered, grab a microfiber towel and buff off any excess. The process is essentially complete. You can now proceed to remove any masking tape that you still have surrounding the headlight. If you accidentally get any polish or wax between the body panel and headlight, you can use a paintbrush to easily get rid of it. So stupid me, I forgot to post a video of before and after when one headlight was in perfect condition and the other one was still hazy. Now I caught myself, I'm in the middle stage right now, I just sanded the headlights down with 800 grit sandpaper, but I'm still going to show you the difference between the light output between the driver side and passenger side headlights. When I change the dial between the light on and off, you can really tell that the light on the driver's side changes from off to on, but you can barely tell that there's a difference on the passenger side. That's how much of a difference it makes when you polish your headlights. Now something to note is that if you guys do this to your car, your headlights are eventually going to oxidize again. There's a way that you can prevent it from happening, and that's by spraying a UV resistant clear coat on the lenses themselves. Now that involves a lot more work, you have to mask off either the rest of the car or take the headlight off of the car. Now if you don't want to do that, that's perfectly fine. I'm not going to do that in this video. However, if your headlights eventually do oxidize again, you're going to grab some of that compound, put the pad right here back on your drill and then polish the headlights up and then follow it up with a layer of wax. Now that's going to restore the headlight and bring it back to new. Doing that, you're not going to have to go back down to the sandpapers and sand the headlight down to remove any heavy oxidation. If you guys have any questions regarding the video, please post your questions down in the comment section below and I'd be happy to help. Again guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. How the hell did dirt get on the inside of the headlight?